Oh, hey everybody. Desert Gold, lazy afternoon here on a Saturday. Just looking through the latest edition of Northern Brewers catalog. Gonna try and pick out another new recipe that would be a lot of fun to do and more fun to drink. Um, just got something in the mail uh, for the quad. It's uh, the IOSD Mini. It's um, on screen display for um, telemetry on your, on your monitor. I'm not going to do it on packaging because there's plenty of that stuff on YouTube. I already have the um, PMU installed, which this will plug into. I have a previous video on that coming up. Then we'll put this in. I already have the uh, preliminary wiring run through for the uh, GoPro. I got the power and video leads uh, attached to a GoPro um, USB, or I should say mini USB connector plug. So. Let's, uh, without further ado, get uh, going and see how easy or difficult this adventure is going to be. So, I've got the main power leads from the NASA PMU soldered to the main power attachments on the board, the main board. So I keep this in focus here. There's the so I'm gonna zoom in just a skosh here. Alright, you have your hot lead and your ground. Coming off the NASA PMU, which is right there. And what I've done is I've attached some uh, Velcro. A lot of people will use double stick. I, uh, I prefer to use uh, Velcro. And it's basically a combination of both if I, you really think about it. I've got the Velcro and a double stick side right there. Double stick. So what you do is you just get this oriented the way you want it. Attached the PMU to the main board. And with the Velcro you have the option of being able to uh, move it, remove it. A lot more easy, easily I should say, than just um, trying to peel off some double stick tape. But any way you look at it, however you want to do it, it all works. So let's go to the next step. So we've got the NASA PMU sitting on the main board. We've got the GPS cable running to the GPS port on the controller. We took the other cable coming around from the other side of the PMU for the X3 port. So now what we have to do is disconnect the X3 cable that's already there so that we can put the new cable in. X3 cable disconnected which leaves us a usable 5 volt power source in the future if we need it. So now we take the PMU X3 cable 
and we're going to plug it into that position. Alright, I've uh, connected all the uh, wires, video leads, this will be transmitter leads. So now we're just going to tidy up a little bit. Nice and neat. All right, so rather than um, bore you with more shaking hands trying to point out similar type of wiring patterns, I've already installed the IOSD, which is right here. It comes with the CAN bus cable, which you see routed through here. And turn this just a little bit and that CAN bus coming from the IOSD goes right into the PMU that you just saw installed and there's its connection there and as I stated earlier the original mounting position for this was over here and due to the cable I had to orient it so that there was clearance for the CAN bus cable. So now you have your IOSD mounted, the CAN bus is joined, the other connection is the cable that comes with it with video in, video out, and grounds for each. That is the cable you just saw, or will see I should say, routed through the bottom of the craft for power powering the GoPro and video out to the transmitter wireless transmitter for HPV so let's get this all finished up Alright, so we're pretty much getting to the finish line here. I pulled the, oops, the wires through. And you have your power lead for the GoPro. You have your video out, running in to the wires that we've fished through, running into the IOSD Mini. We also have the video out that will plug into the transmitter when it gets here and for just general layout we've got the IOSD Mini in place we have the PMU in place you have your CAN bus cable routed to the PMU the power cable that I brought up through the bottom, I plugged into the spare power cable that we took out of the NASA unit. So now that freed that up, allowing us to have an extra power cable down below. As you can see, everything's pretty much uh, tucked in there pretty neat. All the wiring is, for the most part, in place. I got some more touching up to do, but the on screen display and telemetry is going to be a welcome addition. So we'll get that all set up and uh, finalized in the last part of the video.